me personally, and I'm younger than you, uh, I'm in my late or mid to late thirties, I guess. And it was hard for me to like put myself out there in a video format. And so when I see someone who's got an established career, I think of people kind of 50 and older as people who are, they don't get it. A lot of them, they're just like, what, you know, when I started this, they're like, what are you doing? You know, like my partner's 65 and he's like, didn't get it. I think he gets it now, but just tell me about that, uh, journey to get into where you're putting yourself out there making great content. First of all, thank you very much. I mean, I've, I've always liked kind of understanding and trying to make friends with newer technology. So there's probably always been that positive predisposition. But if any of my former Goldman colleagues happen to watch or listen to this, they'll laugh because one of my last things in like 2013, when the first few banks were doing these videos and, and Goldman wasn't yet, and I'd watched some of these videos and it's like, there's no nerdier group than a bunch of Wall Street equity analysts. And the videos were just, I, I apologize, uh, they were bad, you know? There's like reading a script, yeah. looking down, and it's just a complete mess. And I'm like, that's not the approach. It's not, it's not authentic. authentic. It's absolutely not authentic. You know, as someone who wrote research for 20 years publicly, you realize people consume things in different forms. Some people like written products, some people like PowerPoints in this modern age, some people like videos, and some people like long form, some people like short form. I can't get my videos under 20 minutes, so I, I'm definitely probably not going to be a TikTok star for sure. But I think at least the YouTube videos I yeah. try and keep at 15 to 25 minutes. Uh, the Substacks I try and keep at 2,000 words. But I, I do think not everyone likes the long written posts. Some people like Twitter. So yeah, I think there is a need to make friends with all the different, and we are so fortunate. This did not exist, Max, you know, 30 years ago when my career started. I, I had one of the first computers uh, and, and launched, uh, you know, yeah. Lotus 1, 2, 3. And like, thank goodness for all that we have today, this freedom of information and so forth. And I think you just got to make friends with it. And listen, I've got kids who are now college age, and they gave me plenty of feedback on these first years, like, dad. You know, the, the camera can't be all over the map. You actually need to create a thumbnail. I'm like, what the hell's a thumbnail, right? He's like, it looks unprofessional when you don't have a thumbnail. I was like, no one, no one watching my videos, you know, is going to care about it. But he was right. My son was right. And so we've tried to improve it, tried to take feedback. But the core of it has to be the content. People either have to have an interesting message or not. There's no amount of glitz or video. And I don't have enough hair to, to be good looking. But there's, that was. Thank you.